Right, that's right, Tommy. And right now, why don't you uh, introduce Paul Revere and the Raiders? Are they here? <laughs> of course they're here. You can't be that dumb. Oh, yes, I can. <laughs> I'll accept that. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the country's favorite musical groups, the dynamic Paul Revere and the Raiders, featuring Mark <laughs> Lindsay. <laughs> Famous deeds that history uncovers But we tend to overlook the deeds of many others We remember Betsy Ross for giving us more glory Oh boy, Paul, but have you heard about the unsung hero of these little stories? Miss Ross, Miss Ross May, may, uh, Miss Ross, may I call you Betsy? No. Thank you. <laughs> Miss Ross, I want you to feel that fabric. Feel that. Is that a nice fabric? Very nice. But I don't want red. And I don't want blue. I want yellow. Oh, but the yellow, I told you, the yellow is already promised. Then how about pink? No, pink. I could kill myself. Just this morning, I sold the last bolt of pink to Dolly Madison for a dress. Look, Irving, I am a very good customer. If I want pink, I should have pink. You don't want Dolly Madison to go to the party naked, do you? It wouldn't help her. <laughs> Miss Ross, there's a lot of cat in you. Between you and me, between you and me, Miss Ross, you're stuck with the red and with the blue. And I'll tell you what, though, I'll tell you what I'm going to do for you. If you take that, I'm going to throw in a bolt of white for free. Well, who wants white for a flag? It gets dirty. Yeah, but it's very good for surrenders and for truces. <laughs> Yeah, forget it. All right, look, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw in some stars. I was just decorating a theater, and I got some stars left over there. How, how many? A dozen. I'll give you a baker's dozen. Thirteen stars. <laughs> what do you say? I tell you this, with the blue and the red and the white and the stars, you can make a nice quilt or a bedspread. I'm making a flag. Yeah, it wouldn't work, but you could try. You could try. I'll tell you what. You could use a little picking up in this room. How about a nice plant? I got this beautiful bell. You can use it for marigolds or something. Irving, it's crass. Oh, you noticed, huh? <laughs> well, I'm going to Philadelphia. I could sell it to them. They buy anything. Right? Yeah, they buy. How can we forget the fateful night the lamps were burning steady? One if I land, two if I see. And Paul Revere was ready. <laughs> This is murder. This is really murder. Two weeks in this crummy tower. Yeah. Pretty rickety, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Every hour on the hour, you've been banging your head into that thing. Yeah, what are we watching for, anyway? Uh, the British. Oh, the yeah. British. Look for the British. So far, all I've seen is Paul Revere over there snoring. Yeah. <laughs> hey! Hold on! Hey, cut that out down there! Quit ringing that bell! Oh, yeah. Hold it down, will ya? Uh. I'm gonna kill that crummy hunchback. <laughs> hey! Hey! Tired of looking. Hey! What? Merry Christmas, pal. <laughs> what do you mean, Merry Christmas? Uh, it's not Christmas. Look at all those Santa Clauses over there. <laughs> hey, wow. thousands of red coats. Yeah! <laughs> Hey, maybe if we signal to them, they'll give us some presents. Hey, That's Santa! Santa! Hey, over Santa, here! Santa. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Gosh, I thought I was a good boy this year. Face the British Army, yeah. They were heroes, but we know that they could not have done it. Were it not for you and so they never would have won it. Won it, won it, won it, won it. How about that, huh? Eh? Yeah. 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 Y
fly at Craig Franklin, and here we are at Valley Forge. Valley Forge, you know what Valley Forge is? That's Miami Beach with frostbite. <laughs> I won't say it's cold here, but every the first time I've ever seen a blue Indian. <laughs> yes, sir, around here you stick your spoon in your coffee and eat it like a popsicle. <laughs> but, uh, you guys, you guys don't want to hear my jokes, ridiculously beautiful as they are. After two years out here, we know what you boys would like. <laughs> Now, let's hear it from Miss Louisiana Purchase. That's the best territory we ever annexed. <laughs> well, honey, aren't you glad I took you with me again? Oh, yes. This is more kicks than the French and Indian War. And she loves those Indians. She was engaged to Cochise for two and a half hours. Well, let's see now. I want to tell you, I want to tell you, we know what the boys are waiting for, so let's give them what they're waiting for. Are you ready? I am ready. Okay. Well, let's get it. fun war, but time to put the war aside for tonight, so hit it, Benedict. <laughs> Thanks for the memory of days in Valley Forge to get our just rewards. The midnight ride that turned the tide and helped us beat King George. We thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, folks. Thank you. Thank you very much.
Here's a group I think you're going to get a kick out of tonight. You know, this age, we've got the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, the Animals, oh, Herman and the Hermits, and a lot of the British groups. Well, Portland, Oregon has entered into the race with a fairly new group that's getting a great deal of attention from the teenagers in the country. So would you welcome, please, with respect to our colonial heritage, Paul Revere and the Raiders. Here's yeah. a about the meanest yeah. bat in the whole wide world. Yeah. Big boy, Paul Pete. Pete.
everything ties around the 4th of July, yes. right? Yes, exactly right. Listen to my children and you shall hear. Remember that? Oh, yes. The midnight ride of Paul Revere. Well, today it's Paul Revere and the Raiders, of course. It's the number one group in America, so would you welcome, please, Paul Revere and the Raiders with Mark Lindsay. <laughs> 